Years ago, I was struggling with a tremendous amount of medial elbow pain. Another word for that is medial epicondylitis or golfer's elbow. And for me, it came after doing many, many hours of rock climbing. And so I'm gonna share with you a few exercises that really helped me really transform the health of my elbows and take me from barely being able to climb to getting back full force on the wall. So let's talk a little bit first about the anatomy and where this comes from. So if we look at the elbow joint here, most people think of the elbow as something that bends and extends, and it does that, but that's only two of the four motions that it does. Not only does it bend and extend, it also does what's known as pronation and supination, so it has this rotation component. But then we also have to look at the wrist as well because a lot of the muscles that cross over the elbow also cross over the wrist joint. The wrist joint is even more complex than the elbow. So with the wrist, you have flexion and extension. You also have radial deviation, ulnar deviation. Then you also have circumduction and pronation and supination. So you have these eight bones or these eight carpal bones that are right in the wrist, plus you have the two arm bones that connect to it and then all of the, the bones, the metacarpals that extend into the fingers. And so it makes this area super complex. So if we want to make sure that we restore the health of the elbow, we gotta look at the wrist. So you gotta have proper motion, especially flexion and extension. Most people are missing that, uh, that full flexion component. And actually a lot of people are missing the extension component too. This is just, these are, most people's wrists are just stuck in this position for most of the day. Then when we look at the elbow, we gotta make sure that we restore the proper balance between the front and back of the elbow as well. So most people, and this is what happened with me with rock climbing, is I became very flexor dominant. So because of all the gripping and pulling, my flexors or the muscles on this part of my forearm were very overdeveloped and my extensors were really weak. And this was creating a tremendous imbalance at the joint over here with an overactive here, which was uh, pulling on that epicondyle and creating irritation. So I needed to create more balance there.